Hello and happy Friday. You know what day it is? It's camp day. <laughs> so we are off work. We are packed up and loaded. We are ready to go camping. So this was a spur of the moment, last minute kind of, let's go camping this weekend. So this is gonna be a new location at a campground that we have been to before, but a different site. Um, so it should be interesting, come along. Hopefully we will get to show you uh, more of the campground. We're going to Burnt Corral Campground. We are um, going to spend the day in Glow. And so let's head out. So it has been a, a nice evening. We got in after dark, so that's why we didn't video us uh, setting up. Um, then we used pie irons to make chicken parmesan like hot pockets, which turned out pretty good. I was very happy with them. Um, now we are just sitting by the fire, enjoying our evening, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good Saturday morning. So it's about 7.30, we're laying in bed, listening to the rain. So I don't know how long it's gonna rain because we have no signal. Um, it's nice just to listen. And we have plenty of power for our heating pads, so we're nice and toasty warm. Uh, so we'll see you when we get out of bed. <laughs> This canister is almost empty, but I want to try and use it all. So I figure some water. And we are going to try this morning some sugar free uh, cappuccino mix for breakfast. And I got some sugar free hot cocoa because we're trying to go to the gym and eat better. So we're going to give this a whirl. Yes, our hungry man <laughs> breakfast probably isn't the most healthy but it has a lot of protein it has everything you need in it and hopefully we'll be active enough that the calories will be worth it <laughs> it only has 60 calories two and a half and a half i make a little cup of for myself in the morning. Rob likes a big cup, so I do half of the cappuccino and half hot cocoa. So he gets to try the mint sugar. No, I'm just kidding, it's not mint. It's just a green package. <laughs> Makes me think it's mint hot cocoa. I do have mint hot cocoa at home, but I don't think it would be very good. Good morning, so we are just hanging around camp this morning. I'm making breakfast. We got some charcoal that was some lump, like Walmart brand. Do not recommend it. It pops, it looks like fireworks. <laughs> um, and it doesn't burn very good. So I'm actually using wood charcoal from our fire, which is kind of cool, something different. Um, we are gonna eat and then we're gonna clean up and we're gonna head into Globe and kind of explore that town. So we'll bring you along and I hope you enjoy checking it out too.
So welcome to the Roosevelt Dam. On your way to the campground that we are staying at, Burn Corral, you pass this beautiful dam and there's a lookout. So we walk down today, it's a bit cold, so we're not gonna hang out too long, but it is beautiful. There's a small waterfall and there are fish so big you can see them from up here. So I definitely recommend if you're out this way, come check it out, it's gorgeous. Welcome to Downtown Glow, where we're going to be visiting some of the amazing locations here. Some historic, some new, and maybe some haunted. So come on, let's go check out Globe. So, here in Globe, once upon a time, they did use hanging trees. Now, this isn't a hanging tree but it is the spot that they are memorializing the last time they used a hanging tree here in Globe. There was two guys that murdered two gentlemen from the Wells Fargo Packer. And there was a fair trial. They did, they were convicted of it. And at two in the morning, they lynched these two men from a sycamore near this location. Now, I didn't know. I thought lynching was when a mob would come and take him out of jail and it was an unlawful hanging of someone. But it turns out that lynching just means hanging. So this was, you know, all the bars were closed. It was an orderly lynching <laughs> of these two men after a fair trial. After this particular hanging, all other condemned men died near the jail behind when they would set up gallows. So this is a memorial of the final hanging tree lynching. So welcome to Globe Jail, open in 1910. This is known as one of the more haunted locations here in downtown Globe, historic district. Now, there's been many deaths here, plenty of trauma and many angry prisoners. So it's gonna be fun to explore this prison. So during the week or during the day, you can pay $5 and have a self-guided tour, or they also do guided tours. So today we're just doing a self-guided. You do get to do a short video that kind of tells you about the history of the jail and some of the major points to it. Like one of them is when Yuma closed at the same time they were building this location, they took the sliding doors from the Yuma prison and brought them here, which is a very fascinating system that was a pulley system here that you can see. And that made this prison less of a regular town prison and more like a military prison. So let's go explore the cells. So 
So some of the different things of prisons in the early 1900s to now is there was no um, fitness yard. There was no going outside of your cell. There was no cafeteria even. They would bring you your food into your cell. So you spent your entire time in your cell. They did have you sweep out your cell, make your bunks. There were certain things that you were required to do to maintain your cell, but leaving it wasn't really an option unless you had to use the restroom. There was only one bathroom for all of these cells. So I am now inside one of the cells. This is approximately, I don't know, maybe seven feet tall. And it can't be more than six and a half feet wide. And there are four bunks in here for four people. And there was nowhere to go. There is the hallway outside the cells where the guards walk and then you have inside, which is the small cell and a small space for them to enter and exit the cells in the middle. This is a very confined space. So as I said, this is the interior of the jail cells. When they were allowed to leave their immediate cell, this is the only space they had. They, it is locked on both, set, both sides and there's only one bathroom for all of these cells and all of the people. So if you come down, this is the only place that they had to use the restroom and they had to share. And at the beginning, there was only one toilet in this cell. So this is quite fascinating. They were kind enough to take off the cover so you can see how the locking mechanism, mechanism, so you can see how the locking mechanism for the sliding doors worked. So this would be the ladies wing. Um, they call them tanks here in this prison or in this jail. Um, it looks like they only had two ladies per cell and one restroom. But this is, I mean, they had six places for girls at this time, but women were much less likely to be sent to a jail than <laughs> our counterpart men. So, I don't know, perhaps they were getting caught for doing prostitution without a license, or maybe drunk in public. I'm sure there's many things that women were known for doing, but apparently there was much less cause for bunks for women at this time. <laughs> And there 
very, very small. I wouldn't want to be in there. Welcome to meditation. That's what they called it here. This would be solitary. If you were really bad and you broke the rules, you would get sent here to meditate on what you did wrong. It is a large room. I, I would assumed it would have been a smaller room, but perhaps they don't call it solitary because maybe they had multiple people in here. On the wall next to the lady's um, wing, there is a sign that says trustees found loitering at the women's door would be sent to meditation, which is where I'm at. I am not a believer in ghosts per se, but this is one of the haunted rooms. They say that if you sit in the dark and hear, you will hear things or be touched things like that. So I'm willing to try it. Um, I do get scared very easily, but I think that would be an interesting thing to try. I'm always open to learn something new. <laughs> Welcome to Kingsley Olds' cell. So, Kingsley Olds worked for a man who had two daughters. And one day, the two daughters were found drowned in the Salt River. And everyone pretty much knew he did it, even though he proclaimed to the end he was innocent. Now, what happened to him is, well, he was in jail and he was delirious and said he was being haunted by the two girls while he was in the cell. He was very delirious. Now one night, someone broke into the courthouse across the street and found a ledge and a window that they could see into a cell. In the morning, as the sun came up, there was a shot through the window, through the bars in the wall, through the bars to a cell and shot him dead in the head. Now, everyone is pretty sure that it was the father of the two girls that did it. The whole town seems to agree that this is what happened, but nobody came forward to accuse him, and there was no punishment for the crime of killing Kingsley Olds. Welcome to the third floor. This is the trustees dorm. Trustees were prisoners that had jobs that were well behaved, um, that they were allowed to have a little bit of freedom. They could hang out all up here. They were not allowed to hang out downstairs or outside. They could leave to go directly to work and return and then come up to the dorm. The whole floor up here is pretty much open. They would have bunks. Um, currently, it's used mostly just for storage, so that's why we're not touring this section. But we just want to kind of let you know what is here at this location. So once you pass the trustees dorm, you're going to go up the stairs and we're going to go outside to this, the Bridge of Size, which is how they would take prisoners from the jail to the courthouse. So as we go up, I'm going to tell you what happened out here. <laughs> so welcome to the Bridge of Sighs, where every prisoner would cross to be sentenced either to life in jail, death by hanging, or released. So there's a few people that I've heard did jump from this thinking that they could escape. The most famous is a German immigrant who was on his way to be sentenced and decided he would jump and try and flee. But 
left when he made it to the bottom, he didn't make it anywhere, only to the graveyard. So as we finish up our tour at the Gila County Jail here in Globe, I must say that it's been a very fascinating place to visit. I loved all the history and spookiness of it. Now they do um, night ghost tours. They do um, overnight ghost hunting. So if you contact AZ Paranormal, they do a lot of ghost adventures here and other locations in Globe. And I suggest you check them out if that's something that interests you. watched our video on Tombstone, you know about Doc Holliday and the shootout at the OK Corral. And you know that his on and off again girlfriend, Big Nose Kate, was there with him. Well, after the shootout at the OK Corral, they didn't leave Tombstone together. She came here to Globe and opened a business, a house of ill repute, which sounds pretty normal for Kate. So it is highly thought that this building here is where that house of ill repute was. She did get arrested at one point from the authorities and they released her with the one condition that she had to run a legitimate business. So she then turned her house into a boarding house, which today is a bed and breakfast that you can rent a room in. So if you're interested in checking out this building, you should really contact them and get a room at this bed and breakfast. I love Globe. It's got so many fascinating history to it. So, as our final stop here in Globe, we wanted to stop by the train station depot. So there are many stories about this. It was quite a busy location and in 1916, they decided that they needed a state-of-the-art train depot. And so this was built. Um, there are stories that it is a haunted location. And I believe this is one of the places that you can do the nighttime ghost tours and hunts. It is also just beautiful, like looking through the windows, it is closed today, so we couldn't go in, but
but it looks gorgeous inside. I can't wait to come back and see it myself. Some of the stories that I've heard about this location is that many people haunt it because they were killed on the tracks, hit by trains, sort of thing. But the strangest one is there was a ticket taker that worked here and he drank poison while on the job and committed suicide here. So they say he's one of the people that do haunt this train station. Well, this has been a wonderful trip to Globe and I hope if you have time, you come here and visit it as well. We're gonna head out, hit camp and get something to eat because I think I'm getting hungry. Have a good trip. Bye you guys. So where are we? So I was hungry, so we stopped at Nerdburger. So it's super cute. It is all nerd um, encompassing. They've got video game references. They've got comic book references. It's super cute. And if you didn't know, Linda Carter was born here in Globe. And she is the original Wonder Woman. So they do have a poster over here and we just thought it was fitting. And she went to high school right across the street, right? Yes, she did go to school right across the street. They are remodeling it, so they're turning it into something that was closed down for years. So it's neat to see that they're restoring that building for something else. So what'd you get? I got a cheeseburger meal. So it looks plenty big. It looks delicious. I can't wait to try a bite. Mm. All right, here we go. Good morning. So Last night was just a very relaxing evening. We sat around the fire and watched a movie. Um, we love Tucker and Dale versus Evil. It's one of our favorites. So it was just a really nice evening. And then we turned in early because we have an early checkout, 10 a.m. this morning. So we'll have to get up here shortly and start packing up. So we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.